Hi everyone, I hope you're good guys. Welcome for a new video. Today we gonna make a full techno track uh, from scratch just by using push to no computer screen, no mouse, no keyboard, nothing. Just the push. Uh, I will be using mainly my Ableton rack, obviously. I will link all of the rack in the description, the video, if you want to find out more. For the sample and the drum sample mainly, I will use uh, my Peak Time sample pack. Let's get started. So first I'm going to create each element and then I will uh, do a kind of rough arrangement, obviously. And yeah, let's get started. Let's put the headphones. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I forgot to mention that the final project will be available for free. Uh, you can grab it on my website, but if you go on my website right now, you will see it costs six pounds. But during the video, I will give you a code that you can apply when checkout and we make the product for free. So stay tuned and you can grab the template, make your make a remix, experiment with. It can be a good idea as well to start a new track. Just have fun with, yeah. So enjoy the video, guys. So the first thing, so as you can see, everything is empty. I just have a mini track because you cannot have zero track on Ableton. So I'm just gonna add the drum rack. The thing is, uh, on my last sample pack and in my sample pack, what I like to do uh, lately, so let me go to uh, my user file. I like to add what I call drum selector, basically. So if you go to big time here and you go to sample selector, drum selector here, and you click on load, right, now we have a kick basically it's a drum rack where i've put a lot of sampler and inside the sampler there is all of my kick all of my cloth hat all my open hats and i assign a macro so this way i can easily select a kick drum and i'm just gonna change the layout with this velocity and i can straight away go. program my kick and here we go maybe all right, so now I have my kick. I will come back to the drums later. I'm gonna add bassline. I'm not gonna add a rumble. This time I'm gonna uh, add a track and I'm gonna go with a rack that has not been released yet, but will be released next, not this Sunday, the one after. Uh, it's basically, it's a rack. I'm just gonna change the layout. It's a rack to kind of make classic bassline that work. Uh, I didn't have that, so that's why I created. First, I need to change the scale, F minor. And I'm just gonna go with something like... I want a kind of rolling bass line, so I have this plucky here that I can... And it's a bit monotonous, so I'm gonna add... This is plus seven here of beat. One thing I want to do is add a compressor, sidechain compression. So I'm just going to go to auto effect right, compressor, compressor, loading. So the ratio I'm going to put around four to show that I can bring down now. I will uh, arrange later attack at the fastest possible. Release I live like this. And then you click on compressor again and you go on your sidechain and you want the sidechain on and uh, so MIDI is the first track and I'm gonna select my kick here because I want my kick sidechain, but I don't want the whole kick, I want to filter my kick because if you have the whole kick sidechaining uh, your baseline, like the low frequency will sidechain the compressor and it will be kind of slow. I want something sharp, fast, so I'm just gonna get the trend end of the kick. That's why I will apply a high pass, you see, on the compressor. So I'm gonna usually do, if you put around two kilohertz, it's fine, maybe a bit more Q. And now, go to your compressor sorry you can see it starts already to peak and you can go like this and it's work already just adding a bit of pumping effect all right now we've done that when i've gone back to my drums and so same here with the same here with the hat open hat you see i have my whole drum rack full 
with club, snare, op, closer hat, open hat, and I have some percussion and sand. But I'm gonna go uh, with the closer hat, and I'm gonna pick up something like this. So I'm gonna go like this. Maybe even change the GK. You can change the pitch as well, but I'm gonna leave normal. And one thing you can do usually, what I like to do is play with the velocity. Here you have the 16 different velocity on the push, and I will take the uh, one stronger to get this impression. Uh, you can do that. One thing as well I want to do today is play with the GK. So for example, if you hold this uh, note half beat, just let me click here. All right. And now if you hold them, you can see you can modify this parameter and it will be like a parameter lock on the electron machine. So you can like have a longer decay for the one off bit. So for example, if I put one second, you're gonna hear. It's changing. And I'm gonna do the same here off bit and put a decay even longer. So now you get movement as well. Close the hat done, open hat. Again, just pick up one you like. Yeah, this one sounds good. Playing off beat. And I like to play with the velocity on this one as well to have like maybe something. Oh no. Something like this. And the cool thing on this rack, by default, I have the hat shuffle, which is can add some delay. You have different kind of delay for different kind of flavor. I'm gonna use the three. Just add a little bit. And here, the difference. And then here, I have I can add a bit of reverb if I want as well. And yeah, then here, I have a clap. So. It's up to you. Uh, I will add it just in case. Uh, I don't know if I will use it, but. Maybe something shorter and. Sounds good. We have snare, so again, I'm not gonna use the snare on this one, but it's good to have a nice one, for example, for the break, maybe. You you want uh, something like this, you want something like a rolling snare, so great things to engage the rhythm. And you can play here with a different velocity to have like a upcoming kind of pattern. something nice to do uh, live as well I'm not gonna program any snare and so right I want something a bit something noisy like this the pattern again is something similar to the open hand longer decay and I'm gonna apply a high pass filter background and I can add a second proper ride so as you can hear see here I don't have uh, another ride so the, the way I can you can do it just hold duplicate click on your pad and you can just paste here and now here you have as well uh, maybe something like this and again
that sounds about right and now we're gonna add a pad to have this kind of texture i have some perks i will add them later but i'm gonna add a pad to kind of have uh, this kind of drone in the background who kind of set the mood so let's do that uh, let's go there add a track and you go to collection and you go to send and i'm gonna use my drone rack it's perfect for that to create that steady ambience in the background i'm just gonna add straight away as well i have another rack which is pad maker which is super great to make any sound kind of sounding like a pad straight away so i'm gonna add this as well all right okay so that's with the rack that's without so you can hear big difference and i'm just gonna Modify a little bit, change the oscillator one frequency and we set up the two frequency and something like this. I'm really bad at recording live things, so I'm just gonna press here. And if you want to have a longer note, just go to clip and you can adjust the length. You can see here it's gonna be bigger. And I'm just gonna put 64 step. Uh, like up like this so you need to hold them to change here and then after when you left it here you can just loop length and put four and this way Pad. One thing you want to add maybe is some scent. I'm going to start to add some scent. I'm going to start to add a kind of a hoover scent who's going to play here and there. So add track, collection, scent. And I have a rack as well for this kind of hoover sound, uh, which is called Super Soul Hoover. Again, I will put all the link in the description for all of the rack. You will remember this, this rack. Um, add a bit of sub. You see, there is a strong speech attack at the beginning. I want to. I want to make it faster. And I want to have this kind of vibe. So, here again, I'm gonna go like this here, hold this one, clip, step. I'm gonna just put a uh, 16th step. And then I'm gonna double the loop. And so I have the low one here. And on the second one, I want to one octave higher. So I'm just gonna go here and again do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the filter and to have something, something like this. Okay, let me record. Next things you can do is add some percussion. So I have some percussion here. So I'm just gonna go to device and I need to something I like. So you can see, you can pitch, you can change the decay. And I'm gonna go with a classic uh, pattern, which is like the two notes here, like this way, a bit low velocity and one here of beat. for later as well this one is uh, i want to apply a special effect okay let's so 
So this one, if you've seen my video uh, last Sunday, is this rack I'm gonna use. So it's uh, my industrial back rack. It's very clear there is one effect in this rack I like. I don't want industrial percussion, but oh, let me actually industrial back rack. It's the rattle. Um, you can see there is an effect. Can I maybe bring the volume down? And then you have the uh, rattle here. And I'm gonna put. And because the rattle is modulated by LFO, you have this kind of always changing. And you can even play with the metal either. And yeah, I'm just gonna maybe put it a little bit less. Now, one thing you want to add is kind of one of the main elements, one of the main send. So I'm going to just add track, go to collection, go to sync, and I'm going to use my peak time uh, send rack. So I'm just going to load that, track 5. And by default, it's kind of arpeggiator kind of things, but you can go inside and modify. I'm just going to mute the arpeggiator here. <laughs> frequency it's nice like this so I'm just gonna go inside um, operator and this kind of thing so the pattern is like this this not Like this again i'm not really good at playing live so what i'm gonna do is push the note here and i can go to clip and control the length so it's gonna be 16 steps sorry then you have this note here which is playing here which is gonna play for all right six step and then after the two other play here for five step and this one i get here for five step oh you can you can add a bit of nudge if you want but that's not what and then now you have a bit too often but I will change it later and now I'm just finding the device a little bit uh, to drive in there is effect um, I'm gonna go and add so I have this effect rack which is called uh, ultimate effects rack which is basically imagine a pedal effect uh, which like a multiple effect like you have uh, distortion delay reverb all in one device all in one pedal effect something like this is what I've done here you see I have distortion delay and reverb and I'm just gonna add a bit of delay and add a bit of reverb I'm not gonna add distortion or EQ but that's just to place it a bit maybe I'm gonna so this you have to imagine for example at the intro uh, I will probably just if you go to the clip, I will probably just play the, uh, the two first bars. So, for example, uh, at loop length, I will just. That will be the intro. And then after, I will play. To keep things bringing tension. And now the next step, it will be a break. So I will mute the drum. This. So for the break, I want to add up to because arpeggiators are always nice as well to add a bit of tension. So add track, 
and I go to collection, send, and I go to use my rack again. Our base, very efficient and fast way to have arpeggiator. So by default, sound like this. So I just need to go, I want something very high. I want to bring the attack around 30 milliseconds like this. I've got this fluty. I just need yeah, to change the key. Something like this. And I think now. Bring down. So let me check. I need to see. Fully open. You can hear this on the background how it's add a bit of tension again these three notes you can play chord as well and press them in this sequencer which is nice so like this when you go to clip here you can see you have your three note and again the lens so here i'm gonna put a long lens the, the reason is because uh it's not every eight bar you see like the length because of the arpeggiator how it's made it's kind of something like three bar or something like this and or five bar so yeah here and just Clip four bar. You see, like it, how it reset. This is something you can sort it out later on. So imagine this would be the break. I can bring the up, up and I can bring this start to bring this scent as well uh, up. There will be like SFX as well. But the moment you can play with this narrow. tension now you can add the scent which is like popping here and there so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna go add track go to collection scent and i'm going to draw the lead style and okay something like that. is like playing just uh They are playing in the same time, so I don't want that, obviously. And I can change the start, maybe, if I put select. And like this. Oh, why is not playing? they play a little bit too often but you can change this at the arrangement later on all right then finally our last <laughs> okay 
last lead, which is gonna be our kind of main lead as we up here. Just at the end, I wanted to do a different kind of arrangement for this track, which means like very progressive and like the main lead element, you will just hear it at like at the end. Um, so I'm just gonna go to pick up my peak time scent again, and I'm gonna play it a similar way to the one I played already. So peak time scent, loading, all right. So again, not. <laughs> Okay, these arpeggiator things I don't want. I remove operation. And I don't want to play it leg le legato. I'm gonna go to. I want to filter it. I want to change the filter. I'm gonna use the Prodigy, no resonance. And I want to add a filter envelope modulation to kind of get plucky. Okay, now if I press repeat, I could have lit the up And having this kind of vibe uh, with... Maybe the filter envelope is a bit too strong. And one thing I want to do is uh, I want to add the amp device because amp is really great to add a bit of buzziness, crunching, this kind of super soul sound, the tune sound, it's nice to have the clean up. I don't want that much. Okay. And now when you open. Pattern, so it's basically following the same pattern than the one uh, before. So, so, doing like this. So this one as well here like this. This one five and this one five. So. element uh, so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go rename everything because everything is named MIDI and it's kind of how to understand what everything does what and then after we go in the session mode and now we're gonna do a rough arrangement so just give me one second now that everything is renamed properly just go to session so here for the gym what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute actually everything because it's quite hard like I will have to duplicate go back change the pattern which is easier to do on the on the computer to be honest so I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna build the track from scratch and slowly slowly breed each element until I have something uh, full and letting you know what will be my plan with the drum to do in the same time so first 
I want to have just the kick and the bass. Okay, let me unmute this. First thing you can add is maybe some clothes I had. And I'm gonna add as well the Uber actually first. So. drop you could have had the lead too sorry my blame so you can actually duplicate this one and so like this when I drop it's adding a new element so the break I want to add the up because you know it's gonna attention so I'm gonna just gonna duplicate this here and the lead two eventually I will have to play at the beginning of the break but I'm not gonna do it now because I'm gonna get bored otherwise and yeah, <laughs>
after you just finish remove the drums and yeah that's the whole track just built with push so obviously there is some arrangement things that you need to do like sfx white noise the build up all this kind of stuff but you have already all of your elements you have all of your structure and everything just with the push so yeah that's a great sound just you have to record then in the arrangement view in ableton and you're good to go so yeah i hope you like it guys thank you very much for watching and see you soon guys bye bye